This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for July 31st, 2024. It's currently June 11th, 2024, 10.56 p.m. Eastern Time. SPY at the time of this reading is $536.95, that's USD. The shuffle video for the July 31st reading was created on May 23rd, 2024 at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a video That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. The overall theme and behavior for SPY on the 31st, we have a period of volatility and a sharp drop that stands up in that period of volatility. There's also a bit of a rally at some point, maybe towards the end of the day we'll, we'll, or, or the following day. We'll look at that in more detail. Behavior around the high side, we're bound by the upper end of a range on a multi-day scale. Behavior around the lowest low, uh, we have a U-shaped dip that forms near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines, and it's nullified, meaning that we probably return from the low back to highs or something like that. I'm advised to trade around a period of volatility that ends with a fast move higher. Now, I'm gonna get into the hour-by-hour -hour chart behavior as well as timing the highs and lows and the best trade opportunities. But before I do that, I just wanna make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. You go to the resources tab of our website, Terra for Traders, and 5% of the profits from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities or pick a charity of your choosing as long as you're paying 5% forward and then 5% should be sent back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use Wise or you can use YouTube tips and that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love as long as you follow those rules. You follow the rule of karma for the channel. The universe considers you an angel investor. is going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. In the pre-market, we have a lot of volatility and a lot of price change. There's a trough or an important opp improbable opportunity right around the open um, and a big move to the upside out of it with some price swings in the first half hour. That'll be around an important support level on a one month scale. Those price swings then turn into a big move to the upside, reaching for distant resistance. Um, we have a big move and then multiple field attempts to break the key resistance. Like I said, we might have a high here in the last couple of days. And this could very well be a high, uh, like a high on a one month scale, although it, it doesn't appear that way because of all these lower opens. But that doesn't mean that we don't end up back at higher price. It's hard to say. So there's a possibility in there. When we get much closer, it'll be a lot easier for me to determine that. That's why I always say uh, check out the lives. Matter of fact, I'm not going to go over the trades um, moving forward through August. I'm not going to go over the trades and the dailies. I'm going to go through all the chart behavior, the highs and the lows and all that. But if you want to catch the actual trades, you'll have to check out the live the day prior to the, to the day that you want to trade. The live streams that we do are between 3 and 4 p.m. on weekdays. That's Eastern time. And they're free. You can check them out. Uh, we'll be multiple field attempts to break the key resistance at a high here, followed by a sharp drop uh, into another low uh, just after 12 o'clock. That low ends with a fat, or that decline into the low ends with a fast sudden move higher through through an important price level into a brief peak that's easily missed around just just before two o'clock, and that's followed by a sharp decline into a low, uh, a day's low in the last hour at a key support level again on a one month scale. Right around the close, there's a pop and a drop, um, and it looks like more decline overnight and into the following trading day where we have a big move to the upside out of oversold territory. Again, check out those those trades on our live stream. Uh, every weekday from 3 to 4 p.m. Um, sometimes we get on a little bit after 3, you know, so sometime between 3 and 4 p.m. we hop on. Um, we're there for about an hour. Check us out. You can ask us any questions you want. And that's SPY for July 31st, 2024. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You know where to go. You know what to do. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.